Suno has a bunch of features that most people never touch or just simply don't know about. So in this video, I'm going to show you nine Suno hacks that will make your song sound way more professional and give you way more control. Let's start with the first one, and that is using ChatGPT for prompts. But I'm not talking about regular ChatGPT. I built this custom GPT that has been trained on all the knowledge I could find about Suno. So let's say I want a song about how bad pancakes are. I made it so that the GPT GPT will ask you clarifying questions so you can get a better vision of what you want your song to be. And I'm going to say I want it to be an upbeat 80s inspired modern pop song. And then the GPT creates a prompt for the style box as well as lyrics complete with meta tags which we're going to get more into later on in the video. And that brings us to our second hack, which is meta tags. Meta tags are a great way to choose the direction of your song, do your song structure, add production cues, all types of things. A meta tag is basically anything that you put in brackets in the lyrics box, because anything that isn't in brackets is going to be taken literally as the lyrics of the song. But if you do bracket verse one, close it, you do your verse, then you can do chorus. You can also add things like production cues, explosive, chorus or something like gentle lift which brings us to number three which is tag stacking tag stacking is basically using three to five instructional tags separated by a line break intro bright 80 cents upbeat groove the song structure as well as what should be in the song at this point so for instance in the first verse you could type in verse one then add a line break, soft piano, whispered vocal delivery. Let's just create that and see how it changes our intro. The original one was like this. And our new one sounds like this. So it's a little hit or miss. It didn't get the dark pad, but it definitely got the piano. Now this next hack really surprised me because I was just trying some shit out and then it worked and I was like, what the fuck? But you can actually make a live version of your song using the meta tags that we used before. So in the intro, I just put intro, live crowd cheering, stage ambience. And then in the style box, I'm gonna use our same prompt as before, but at the beginning, I'm just gonna put live recording at a concert. I don't know the exact words to use, you know what I'm saying? But let's create and see what it sounds like. Hey, so we can sing you for slick song. This is a party in white miss. And if you want to take this one step further, another way you could implement this is by choosing the song that you want to turn into a live version. Go to remix slash edit and go to cover. Add those meta tags for the live crowd cheering. And then you can use the audio influence to determine how much you want it to stay like the original song. This is a delicate balancing act because if you go all the way to 100, it might not sound as live, but it'll sound like your song. But if you stay too much on the low end, then it's going to add a lot of live elements, but might change the song a lot. I'm just gonna go for 55 because I really want it to sound like the same song. So you can see with this one, I did a pretty good job of making it sound live. <laughs> Now this next hack deserves a caveat because it's not always perfect, but if you do it this way, it's usually really close. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about duets. So let's do it. So I got the Suno GPT to write me an emotional ballad about a guy breaking up with a girl because she likes waffles more than pancakes. I don't know why I'm on a pancake kick today, but I am. This GPT knows this hack that I'm about to tell you, so it already wrote it like that. But the gist of it is that in the style box, make sure that you say that it is a duet so it said emotional pop ballad duet with warm piano soft keys blah 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 but it says duet make sure that duet is in the style prompt and then in the lyrics you want to make sure that you indicate when the male vocal is coming in and when the female vocal is coming in and when they sing together so I'm gonna change the pre-chorus to have the female vocal and the verse to have the male vocal and then the chorus that has male plus female duet I try to tell you softly I try to make it gentle, slow But every Sunday morning Maybe it's not the waffles Maybe it's not the waffles Maybe it's something more Maybe we've been drifting Like crumbs across the floor 
You choose waffles, I choose pancakes And maybe that's the sign Miraculously, the first try, it put the male vocal and the female vocal where they're supposed to go. Now this next hack is probably something you've never really thought of doing before. Exclude styles. This is a very underrated part of Suno. But basically what this does is you just put what you don't want. If the style box is what you do want, the exclude styles is what you don't want. It's basically a negative prompt. So let's just take our prompt from before, the 80s modern pop one. Let's tell ChatGPT, I want a a negative prompt for this prompt that I can paste into exclude styles and this can really help you get your exact vision so now we can paste this negative prompt into the exclude styles section and we can get our 80s prompt from before into the regular old box Woke up hungry, dreaming big. and now this next hack is also something you've probably never thought of and maybe didn't even know existed so there's this little book over here if you click that, what is that? That's prompts that you've saved. Mm -hmm. You can save prompts to a library. So let's say that you had a song that you really, really liked. Then you can just go over here on the right side and copy that prompt, paste it into your style. And then this pops up, which looks like a little bookmark tab. Use that and then you go to your library and look at there. So this is really good if you accidentally make a prompt that you really like and you wanna keep something in that style. Then you don't have to save them in your notes or anything. You got them right there, buddy. Now this next one, I know some of y'all are gonna like because I got comments about it I'm gonna show you how to extend your song but not in the traditional way I'm talking about just making a song longer but keeping it the same you can only do this if you have Suno Pro which I highly recommend by the way use my link in the description to join Suno Pro because then I'll get a commission don't you love me don't you want me to get a commission yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna go to this song, go to the three dots and go to remix slash edit and open an editor. So once your song is in the editor, you can select a section of it. Let's say I wanted this verse to happen again. You just select that section and then hit control D. Boom, then you got it twice. So if you have a beat and you just want it to be longer, you can just select the entire thing and then control D and then bam, you got your song twice. Last but not least for our final hack is something I bet you have never even heard of. Well, I'm gonna show you. And that my friends is lyrical flow. Depending on how you type your lyrics, Suno is gonna change how it makes the lyrics sound. For instance, if we type, give me that dresser. I'm trying to move out of my house. I need a dresser. My old one looked like a mouse. I don't wear no blouse, but I might go blau, blau. Okay, so if we type the lyrics like that, no commas or anything, just a straight up sentence, it'll come out with something like this. Give me that dresser. I'm trying to move out of my house. So we can change the delivery by just adding a comma and hitting enter and bringing it down a line. And then if we put like a space between the lines, it'll add some space in between the delivery and let the instrumental breathe a little bit. Give me that dress up. I'm trying to move out of my house. I need a dress up. My old one look like a mouse. I don't wear no blouse, but I might go blouse. So that's gonna do it for this one. I hope this video was helpful and if there's anything else you want me to cover, let me know down in the comments or my mom will come back from the grave and try to sell you life insurance.